hello, hello, what's going on, Pokemon trainers? That's really cringe, don't know why I did that. Okay, so the entire, well, the majority of the direct has been leaked, but somehow, some way, I have managed to keep myself away from the leaks. From what I've seen, it's positive, which I'm okay with. Honestly, anything I would be hyped for, but th this is this is what it sounds like. It's gonna be huge. So so far, I've strayed away from leaks. So hopefully, I can keep doing that I, I, why what is my recommended right now is it because i'm watching a pokemon thing is that why this recommended is completely garbage right now i'm gonna be honest though i did see a little bit of it but i barely got a glimpse i didn't I didn't see it long enough to like be able to process it. Also, it's really freaking early in the morning, so if I need to scream, I'm gonna scream into to bub here. This thing is so nice. I love it. So cute. <sighs> I'm scared. I'm so scared, guys. I think that uh, I think it's about time that uh, that. Uh, you know that uh, ferret walking stream where uh, it basically says, oh, the ferret's going to be walking until Diamond and Pearl remakes come? Well, I'm pretty sure Diamond and Remakes are, Diamond and remakes are coming. Yeah. It's literally the only sort of, like, prediction I have. Like, literally leakers have been screaming from the rooftops about this remake. So that's the only thing I'm expecting here everything else it's 20 minutes and it sounds like they're gonna have multiple games which is like okay so there's gonna have a mobile game maybe they'll talk about sleep here but i think the main focus which is what they usually do at the beginning of the year is gonna be the new games and i am hyped so yes i am streaming my reaction over on twitch um and there's probably not gonna be any chat in this in this stream but it's probably just going to end up going on YouTube and people are going to watch it that way. Oh boy. Got 10 minutes. Also, hopefully the audio has been fixed now. It was very quiet in the direct. But again, I had no chat to tell me otherwise, so... Speaking of Pokemon Sleep, though, I like... I was way too hyped for this, so I didn't even go to sleep. So, maybe Pokemon will actually give me a proper sleep schedule. I might be getting these recommendations because of, well, one, it's Pokemon, and on mobile it says live chat is disabled for videos for kids, and then also, like, I've been watching PewDiePie, and PewDiePie is now associated with Cocomelon because of the diss track, so that's probably why.
way though, TBH. Also, I will check out the leaks because from what I'm, I will look at the leaks after, sort of get my reaction on those after the direct so we're not spoiled. If it is a spoiler, that is, but I did see a little bit of it, and I do know that it's in Japanese, so what we're going to see here is going to be in English, so we know that's going to at least be different. So either way, it's confirmed to be different, so I'm going to be looking at new stuff once we hop over to the leak version. It won't let me go into full screen yet. So I guess we just wait because there is no chat. I've gotten really lucky on Twitter. I've only seen it twice. Well. I haven't seen it, seen it, but I've seen it on the TL twice, so. Or, well, I guess I should just say get, got a glimpse of it. I didn't want to see it fully, but I was scared. I was really torn. I, I really wanted to see it, but at the same time, I was just like, probably not a good idea. I want to be actually surprised. These five minutes are always the longest. And I will also be live next next week, right? Yeah, next week for the uh for the Sakurai presentation as well. I was like, I wanted to like sort of see like first impressions of PokeTubers, but almost every single one of them has seen the leaks and they're all talking about it right now. So I literally hopped in, they're like leaks and I jumped right out. 
I can't wait to see the reactions. I've been watching a lot of Munching Orange again. Uh, I watched Hero Volti play through. I, I, I owe, it's a tradition now that I watch Hero Volti as soon as a new game or something drops. Um, uh, I've been recently watching Patters, which is something someone I've never seen before. Uh, well, I, I've heard of him, but I never watched him before until recently. So I'm interested to see his reaction because his sort of perspective was like we he doesn't really like remakes because I'm gonna refresh just in case. He he doesn't really like the prospect of remakes because it uh oh, what the heck? Oh that's two years ago. Um Oh wait, they opened the chat, what? Oh no, 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 I'm hiding the chat right now, I do not want to see leaks in the chat, um, he's, he's on the, the side of, he doesn't really like remakes, which is weird, because it's an RPG series, and remakes is kind of like what they do, but at the same time, his perspective is like, well, why don't they just release a sequel set in the same region, and I'm like, well, that's an interesting idea, but I don't really know how Game Freak knowing Game Freak would execute, and not, like, saying bad, saying bad things about Game Freak, because I liked Sword and Shield, it was pretty mediocre, but it was okay, um, but knowing Game Freak, I don't think that they would even want to invest time into making a direct sequel, unless they were planning on doing it from the start, like a Pokemon Black and White 2 sort of situation. And those weren't really, like, next-generational sequels. They were literally just, like, same generation. And I guess you can say the same thing for Ultras, the Ultra games, and the... You can say the same thing for the, um... Um... Coliseum and XD, because technically they're sequels set in the same region. Um, but they're both same generation. Oh, dang, they're... Oh, a minute early, huh? Everyone's saying this will be bad. Yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> it's, it's... Something's gonna go down. We all know. Something's gonna go down. Alright, I'm gonna turn off the music now. Thank you, Glitch City, for the amazing remixes. Refresh one more time. Bro, this, what is this? I completely skipped on the Sun and Moon anime because I, <laughs> I hate, I hated Sun and Moon. I still do. I, I've learned to appreciate it more with uh, uh, Sword and Shield, but I still sort of like. I have too much love for Generation Six. So, come on, poke like at least start the. The video part so that I can become in full screen because I don't know if it'll play right away I'm just scared it won't and then I'll like be missing it we literally oh. <laughs> I hope this is good guys I miss sleep for this so I, I know it will be because like if Diamond and Pro Remakes is basically set in stone I think we're set up for a good direct but anything could happen could look completely garbage and everyone be like, what the fuck, Game Freak? The people are going to be like, what the fuck, Game Freak, anyway, because the Pokemon fans are little whiny babies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, it is already 8 o'clock on the dot, and it hasn't started yet. Let me check mobile. Just in case. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go, guys. Wow, two minutes? It's kind of long for the... I'm perfectly premiered. Refresh one more time just to be safe. Of course, it's going to be slow. Come on.
and of course it's going to be in 144p because it just has to be in 144p why is everyone saying a no 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 stop it what do you no no god no stop i did not want to click on that video sir go back go back What the? Why are you? What? What? I'm missing it. Okay. Like at least, can you go in 360p? Like at the very least. Like I know I'm streaming and watching the stream, but at the very least I could be able to actually w see what's going on. All right, here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Pokemon, what do you have in store? It's Black... Ooh, Pokemon Company. 25 years of po Okay. Are they going to do the thing where they go, Oh, here's every single game. Yep, they're doing it. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Cable. <laughs> Trade. They always do this. Interesting, they actually included the trading cards this time, and the anime. Interesting. What? They wrench- they reference this? Mike? Whoa, they're going all out. Now, I wonder if they're allowed to do this now, because... Wow, they're going all in. What? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I wonder if they're allowed to do this now because it's not called a Pokemon Direct. It's called a... It's, it's something else. Mobile Adapter? That's... What? What are all these references? Like, I know all this stuff, but like... E-Reader. Aw, oh, yeah. Database. What? Battle? Goopy. Sapphire. Gable. Gable. Multi-battle. Trading card. Anime. Fire Red Leaf Creed, baby! Emerald! They usually- Oh my god, this is like 20 minutes already. <laughs> Dude, they're- Mystery Dungeon, A. E-Reader Plus? Wait, that's a thing? Well, I, I didn't. I actually didn't. What? Oh, the music got quiet. That has to... Mm. They always do this, so... I'm not surprised. Luckily, they've been cutting it down. But this is way longer than usual. It's probably just because it's the 25th anniversary, but... Whoa, 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 whoa. No lagging. What is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Granted, I don't really care about this, but what? What is this? Anime. Movie. Wait, why didn't they say something about the movie before? Black two, white two. <laughs> Stop it! No! I'm literally at 144p! What? Oh my god. Oh, Pokemon Rumble! No, stop it. Wait, why did it go back? Why, why are you going back? Stop it. Why'd it go back? 
This is really annoying. I hate this. What is wrong with my computer? XY, let's go, baby! Best games right there. Mega Evolution. Yeah, best gen. Best gen. Let's go, best gen. Art Academy Pokemon? I forgot about that thing. Outbreak. <laughs> Wait, they didn't... Oh, Pokemon Go. There we go. Go. I was like, wait, they completely forgot about <laughs> Pokemon Go. Of course they didn't. Anime. Can you not, please? Stop going back. I'm so far behind. <laughs> Trainers? Textile? Oh, yeah. I really want that so bad. Movie! Oh, live action film. Movie! Sword and Shield. DLC. Fuck you, I hate Gigantamax. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, that's sick! I didn't know they did that. Oh yeah, expansion pass. Buddy! Haha, <laughs> bro, GT! Web anime. Well, they did that before. When was this? Outer space. They did a really freaking insane amount of obscure references. Smash! They reference Smash! Store. Viral. Billion dollar franchise. How about that? Crusty company. Look at all these people not wearing masks. <laughs> In my hand. What's in my hand? Okay, so there's that was their Pokemon 25 highlight reel. That's it. That's the end of the direct. Thank you guys for watching. Alright, you know shit's gonna go down as soon as he shows his motherfucking face. Is the date Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green were released uh -huh. in Japan. Yeah. Marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. Yeah. An astounding We would like you to experience these games on Nintendo Switch. For sixty dollars each. So much with you over the past twenty-five years, through our games, but also through so many. Okay, why do you have to recap what you just show? Thank you, each and every one of you. You're welcome, but you Today, know the fans are pissed off right now, right? We'll introduce our latest updates. I'm not, but. Hello there. My name Who are is you? From the Pokemon Company. Ironically, I've never seen this person before. Latest update on the new Pokemon Snap game. We've put together a video that will show you- Why? Something. Please have a look. Wait, did we need to know this? No. Why? What? Welcome to the world of new Pokemon Snap. This is the Lentil region. You'll ride- The Lentils the region. Okay, I really don't care about Pokemon Snap, so I'm just gonna- Research team members Rita and Phil are there to support you. So hey, a rival? Hey. Now then, let's get that I'm excited for this, don't get me wrong, but it's okay if I don't. No, it's a full-on trailer. Bro, this is it. This is all the direct is. It's just Pokemon Snap in a mobile game. I don't think we need more information on this. The game's coming out in a few months. Don't care. You don't need gameplay details like this. Look, it's that YouTuber. We're good, Pokemon Company. Move on. Crap. 
what? Let's try playing a melody. Interesting. Wow! They go nice and shiny. Whoa! Wow! Crazy! Oh, nice. I'm excited for this because it looks gorgeous, too. You're actually able to take, like, cool pictures. I wonder if Before, Professor Oak will be able to edit the photos you've taken. Damn. I wonder look at the sobbles. Like stickers and frames to make your favorite photos even more special. Yeah, that's cool. And I'm sure you'll want to show off your best. Pokemon has always done that. Since since that basically well. Gen 3. When you want to do that, it's time to go online. You can Hey, there we go. And check out photos there it is. The world. And there it is. No See, way. Something like that may inspire you to go back and take even more photos. Yeah, this is why that this is good. It's because it's bringing poke even I think that the Pokemon company was just like I don't really want to make a new Pokemon Snap game because you can literally do it in Pokemon Go. Pokemon Celebi? Well. Get ready. The lentil region is way for you. It was like a rarity back then to be able to take pictures wherever you want, and now it's sort of mainstream. So that's where they had that mindset. But no, this is like almost like perfect. Like the literally perfect synergy here with modern technology. People are able to make sexier photos. Why is it? Okay, that's fine, I guess. They usually stop promoting sort the main generation that next year okay the remaking kanto again pokemon master sex also marnie Next, I'd yes. like to present the latest news about the Pokemon video game series. Ooh. Have a look at this video. Pogging right now? Are we pogging? Are we gonna pog? Twenty nineteen. Twenty sixteen. Twenty two thousand six. 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 Yeah, let's go! Let's remakes. Let's go. Let's go! Oh! Okay, what does it look like? Is it crazy? Doo -doo -doo. Dude, they're teasing us right now. They're like... They're just like here. What's it called? Experience the brilliance once more. Whoa! <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> you have X and Y, and then you have Let's Go, and then you have this. It's, this is like Link's Awakening. <laughs> I'm excited, but. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh, the leaks were wrong. Uh, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, the f Shining Pearl. What the fuck? Oh, <laughs> I'm 99% sure that my friend is so pissed right now. <laughs> <laughs> no way! But no Oh, here we go. Delta episode, baby. Pokemon series enters a new era. Hold up. This is a tale 
from a long, long time ago. What? When the is this a different game? Was still only a vast wilderness. I'm excited, but like... A certain village bustled with the Wait, were the leaks wrong? People. This is so the funny to me. Seas, Pokemon roamed as they pleased. I'm loving this, but... Whoa, what the fuck? Wait, that's the same engine as Snap. Wait. Hey, that's loot. Wait. Wait, so then why is the main game Chibi? Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa, what? Hold on, this is like realism stuff right here. What's going on here? Okay, so this is some Bowser's Fury type shit going on here. This is very exp No. Of course you would lag right here. No, this is crazy. Okay, so there is normal battles that take place, but it's like real time. Where are we? What a weird starter selection, okay. Yo, but this is the snap engine, though. Why? Why those starters in particular? That's interesting. They're not even the Gen 4 starters. Well, actually, Piplup, but... Wait, no, Piplup wasn't even an option. It was Oshawa. Stop it. Stop. Cut it. Cut the bullshit. Arceus. Hey, there he is. Legends? Arceus. Wait, so is this a part of the game or what? Er, oh, oh, wait. Wait, so why is it based on Diamond and Pearl? I'm so confused right now. Stop it! Why are you doing this at the most pristine time? I, I'm, I'm confused. I'm, int I'm interested. I'm intrigued. I'm pleased to announce two new additions to the Pokemon video game series, both taking place in the Sinnoh region. First, I'd wait, like in the Sinnoh region? Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. These are faithful readings of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version. Faithful, but are they the equal to Heart Gold, Soul Silver? So people didn't like the art stuff. I don't like those names. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't like those names. Pokemon Shining Pearl games. Remakes of the Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl version games which were released for the Nintendo DS. That looks sick, but it's like Nintendo Switch. Okay, they have to add a lot more. What? Pokemon Home. The project is being Wait. Yo! They're not doing it! I don't know Ilka, but let's see if we trust them, though. It looks good to me, but... What?! But it's, it's literally a perfect one-to-one -one translation. Honestly, I like this style better than Oraz. Not gonna lie. Okay. In these games, you can enjoy a grand adventure together with all the Pokemon from Pokemon Diamond version and Pokemon Pearl. Mega Evolution. Mega Evolution. Wait, so you can't bring in new Pokemon? to experiencing the original Pokemon Diamond and Pokemon Pearl stories, freshly recreated for Nintendo Switch. Okay, so what about our? So my questions are: What about new Pokemon? And what Did about? Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl I'm simultaneously around the world late this year. I'm excited, but I'm All confused. Yet fresh adventure in the city. I don't like those names. <laughs> those are just funny to me. Next, allow me to introduce you to the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. So it's a completely separate game. It's a new approach for the Pokemon video game series. 
Okay. Development is in full swing at Game Freak, with the aim to deliver a gaming experience that breaks new ground for the Pokemon series. Okay. Please have a look at this video. It's I I thought it was some Bowser's Fury type shit, but I think I'm on the right path there. But it's an entirely sixty dollars separate package. So I wonder, like, what's going to be the selling point of Diamond and Pearl and Remake? Too, Mount Coronet towers over the oh my god, can you not, please? Of the region. Coronet in the center, okay. Yeah, that's right. Live freely in the wild here, but the harsh environments may be different from the Sinnoh region you remember. What? Oh, is this set in the past? This is set in the past, huh? In this era... People have journeyed to Sinnoh from all over and founded a prosperous village in the hope of learning more Interesting. About the this is going to be lore. As so I wonder if the, another game in the Rally, series... Syndiquil, and Oshawott, it seems they were brought to Sinnoh by a certain professor who encountered them while traveling around various Ooh. regions. You'll set off on your adventure after receiving a first partner Pokemon... See, those are... That's Dawn and... Yo, okay, so this is some. Um, this is where they are going with the Isle of Armor and Crown Tundra. I see now. On your quest to create Sinnoh's very first Pokedex. What? It's literally done. What? Pokemon can be caught with Pokeballs. So yeah, obviously it's a huge emphasis on catching. Whoa, those. Your Pokemon allies. That UI is sick. What? 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 Uh. Wait. It just ended. Wait, everyone else is having the same problem. What? Pokemon around various regions. It just ends. <laughs> Oh my god, it just ends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> of course, because Pokemon is actually doing well for once that... <laughs> Premakes, that's what they're calling it. Oh my god, <laughs> they said Sinnoh remakes confirmed. <laughs> oh my god, the internet is loving this. <laughs> Oh my god, where's the rest of the trailer? <laughs> oh wait, it's in there, it's in there, it went back. It fixed itself, right? Hold on. It seems they were brought to Sinnoh by a certain professor who encountered them while traveling around various regions. You'll set off on your adventure after receiving a first partner Pokemon. Okay, so my question is, so this is very much so like the evolution of the Isle of Armor idea. So they're basically... It just ended earlier than before. Uh, oh my god, what the... F what? Uh, I hope this is, um... Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it... it YouTube just broke. Okay. So... I'm gonna go back through this, but, uh, so, yeah, that's interesting, though, so, this is sort of, like, the next, the way forward into Pokemon, just like Bowser's Fury was the way forward into, sort of, 3D Mario, I, my question is here, is, like, because this is, like, pre-Sinnoh, well, first of all, why is it Don and Ethan, I think his name is, and also, I am so intrigued by this. Wow. So are they going to do like a Delta episode with Giratina then? And also, what's the story in these games? You'll venture out to the different corners of the region. Dude, if, if that, if the entirety of like Sinnoh or like Sinnoh is in this game, that's massive land to cover. Because I assume they'll have, like, little nods and references throughout the land that say, okay, this is kind of, like, where Route 1 is. This is where, like, the original route is. Or maybe you'll even be able to see the world being built up as you play. That could be cool, too. And also, this this is called Pokemon Legends. 
So what that could mean is this is actually like a sub-series right next to Let's Go. So you have Pokemon main series, which consists of Generation 9, whatever the next remakes are. And, and this is good, too, because Pokemon sort of knows after Generation not after generation 8 by just saying, okay, so instead of having third games, why don't we start tampering with these new experiences like this um, so that we can just have short, shorter little games uh, with DLC. It's cheaper for the fans. They get something to chew on while we work on these bigger games in between. And that's a really good marketing strategy. And then let's just say they don't have DLC for some reason. Maybe next year we don't get... I mean, this might be the big game for next year, but what if we don't get that and and there's actually another game? Then they could do Let's Go's on the off years as well. And they could really pour their in, in their, put their money into this. Okay. Even in this, era, this, this is literally Breath of the Wild, dude. I thought people were joking on Twitter, but they're not joking. Honestly, I'm going to put it out there. It looks better than Breath of the Wild. Although, I will say that the sort of cell shaded um, like, like, um, Dawn there and the Pokemon sort of contrast with the world. But I think that makes it better so the Pokemon actually stand out so you can actually see them. So I don't think the wild areas are actually going to be... Look at the animations, dude! They heard! They listened! Now for the mythical Pokemon that graces the game's title and story, <laughs> Arceus. According to okay. legend, Arceus shaped all there is in this world. But how is this Pokemon connected to your journey? How? Yeah, how? The answer to this question and more awaits you in this exciting new action RPG adventure. Bro, look at that dive. We can jump, bro. I think Generation 7 and 8 were very much just sort of like, okay, we got to put games out, but we need to think about like the future of Pokemon. And they sort of tampered with that with these two games because like i wonder what the premise here is because like so far what we know is that oh yeah collect the pokedex but that was like sort of the premise from the very beginning unless that is the premise and they more make it sort of fun and engaging and because like back way back in generation one that was like their huge marketing thing gotta catch them all right and so we haven't really been able to see that other than with games like let's go they can't really push that with how many pokemon there really are so maybe this game sort of, that's like the driving focus is to actually complete your Pokedex because not many people do that. I don't think many people did it back then either because 151 Pokemon is a huge feat. It looks good though. Pokemon not gonna lie, it looks kind of good. Around the world early next year. Okay. We hope you're all excited to set hmm. out on these adventures. Look at look at this. Look at this. The the Legends logo is also I feel like I've seen this in like a fake mon type style of this looks I'm so hyped, dude. This right here it's it's the sty old style of font cuz they had like in generation 3 well, okay, so generation 1 and 2 they just had Pokemon and then it said blah 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 and it's like dumb font underneath and then generation three and this is for generations one and two and then generation three had this something like this and then in generation four they made it bold and so it looks like they're sort of keeping with the style because omega ruby and alpha sapphire had their own logos that they completely custom made which i i, I don't i'm so scared to say it because it's not a good name shining diamond and glistening pearl or something i don't even know what the names are um, it's going to be very hard to remember. It still has this classic sort of Generation 4 feel. So, what it seems like is that Pokemon is letting some other company deal with the remakes while they do this. And so, then other companies said, okay, maybe we don't want to make it in the next, in the new style, because it'll, it, maybe it'll contrast with the two games. But, like, if it looks chibi like this, it's it seems like, well, it takes a lot of effort, obviously, but it's a little bit easier to translate this game into the chibi style 
which this is the new chibi style. This ain't let's go X, Y, because I think it's safe to say let's go X, Y is similar, almost the exact same style, while these new remakes are going to be different. But like, can you even really say that they're remakes? I mean, I, I mean, I guess you can for <sighs> Link's Awakening, but I feel like Link's Awakening looks a little bit better. I, I don't know. But, like, I'm hoping that there's a little bit more with the Diamond and Pearl remakes that we haven't seen yet. Like, maybe a Delta episode regarding uh, Giratina or a huge, crazy post-game. Because if... Because I feel like people are like, okay, this is cool, I'm excited. And if they're not excited about Diamond and Pearl, they're sure going to be excited about this. And if they're not, you know, whatever... Uh, but it, it gives us something to chew on before that. But I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm fine with paying $120 on these games, but it's just so interesting. Like, I wonder, I really hope they top Heart Gold Soul Silver. I really hope they do. Because obviously, ironically, it's the same generation. But I really hope they top it. Because if it's in this chibi style, then they don't really have to do that much in terms of like graphics and stuff they really just need to up res the ui put them on one screen and then maybe add a giratina episode and then what else like I, maybe i'm asking too much but like i hope it can top diamond and pearl because if it top i'm sorry if it tops heart gold soul silver and we're getting this pokemon company has really changed up we hope you're all excited to set out on these adventures across the Sinnoh region each one distinctly different from the other, with the wonderfully nostalgic Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. Brilliant as Diamond. As the what? Video game series New Journey, Pokemon Legends Arceus. Okay, Ishihara. As Pokemon celebrates 25 years, we will continue to challenge ourselves and deliver new ways for everyone to enjoy Pokemon even more. Thank you very much for watching. Wow, dude. Like, I, I, I know we aren't getting these until November, but holy crap, dude. Bro, we have something to talk about. We are going to have something to talk about. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the very beginning of the diamond and pearl trailer but i'm also going to go ahead and try to look up the the leaks hold on uh i wonder like if it's still on reddit Sound like it was on Reddit originally. Dar slash Pokemon. Uh. No, they. I think they. Wait. Where's the sauce? Okay, so... It is just on Centro. Okay, um... Come on, bro. I don't... Okay, I don't... Okay. So. Come on. 
Okay, so, uh... Okay. Ooh, okay. Uh... Okay, uh... This didn't age well, but to be honest, it's still a freaky... Uh, expect a freaking video to leak. Yeah. Oh, and Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl have a chibi style. Okay, this was two hours ago. Okay, so yeah. The information about the games have been leaked by Practical Brush, the Reddit user who leaked last week's direct. Really? He leaked the direct too? Um, no, I, I think that... It says, would you would you be okay with being Generation 9? No, I think this is very much... Well, okay, not yet. I think it's more of like a Generation 10 or a Generation 11 thing. I think this is very, very experimental. I think these we are in the early stages. We'll see, we'll see how it looks, but I do not want the next generation to be like that because it, it seems like a lot. And I'd rather have, like, one more classic-style game before we get there. Okay, detail two classic-style Sinnoh remakes coming this year. Billion Diamond and Shining Pearl. I still hate that. Not developed by Game Freak. So, I, I don't know what ILCA is known for yet. But from what we've seen, and we're going to look back at it again, it looks gorgeous for a chibi style, of course. But as long as they faithfully recreated the game, I think that's enough right there. But I want to see what else they did new. Like, hopefully they bring back the Battle Frontier and things like that because Game Freak didn't do that in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, so maybe they listened to Pokemon fans in that regard. So, I, I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. I fully, fully, fully expect another Direct in... Well, I expect something in, like, after Pokemon Snap releases, so, like, June or July, maybe before that, and then we'll have E3 time... Nintendo Direct, where they mention it, but they don't, like, say, oh, they're just like, hey, by the way, Shining Diamond Pearl, buy it this summer, or this, this, this Christmas, as they usually do, and then we'll have another big one right before it launches, as they usually do, it's just tradition, um, so, okay, details, uh, 2022 game, Legend of Arceus, not the Legend of Arceus, it's not the Legend of Zelda, Feudal Sinnoh, okay, open world, developed by Game Freak, next evolution of Pokemon, seamless battles, not turn, wait, not turn-based? Oh, okay, it is turn-based, okay, that's weird, that's gonna be, I really love the seamless transition, but I wonder how that sort of, like, works, but I, I'm loving how they're doing it separate from the thing, because, well, <sighs> that just sucks, because look at Auras and say, oh, look at all these crazy new forms, when this could just be a box standard remake that just says, hey, look, up res textures, uh, or like in 3D now, cool, whatever, great. According to Leaker, in Pokemon Legends, Arceus starters from three different gens. That's an interesting thing. I, I mean, I would have personally liked new Pokemon, um, or just the Sinnoh starters, because I don't even know if you can get the Sinnoh starters in the game. Uh, no longer turn-based. Combats are now energy-based. What the hell? No transition between overworld and battles, okay. Uh, interesting. Okay, so he posted this after. God, I love the UI, dude. The UI is sick. Wait, wait, whoa. So it seems like there's going to be, like, crazy boss battles. What is that Pokemon? So I wonder if just the, the world is just open to you, do whatever you want, catch all the Pokemon, if there's going to be, like, checkpoints or dungeons or something along the way, oh, I, I kind of wonder, like, what, how it's going to be handled story-wise, or if it's just going to be like, hey, this is just completely experimental, go out there, explore the world, see what we have to offer, the, <coughs> the next game is where it's going to be at. Um, the sli this slide specifically mentions ATB, Active Time Battle. Uh, similar to fine damn uh seamless battle transition it's not like turn based like classic pokemon main but an atb system when you select an attack if you don't have any pokemon your main character will be attacked what the f wait so your character has health as well uh if you don't have any pokemon your main character will be attacked the main character gets enough damage the battle will end so wait so are you like locked into a battle or is it just like, hey, I really don't want to catch this Pokemon, let's just run away. Can you do that? 
Interesting. Sinnoh remake details. Uh, Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, not developed by Game Freak, out this year. Weird chibi style. Uh, random encounters, not overworld. That that kind of sucks. Because, like, at the very least, if we got Diamond and Pearl remakes, plus on top of that, it's sort of in the Sword and Shield, like, everything, all the quality of life features, which I assume are still there, like, you know, UI-wise, but, like, it doesn't seem like they're not going to be in the overworld. Top-down fixed camera, yeah, that's fine, that's okay, I enjoy that. I prefer that for this type of game anyway. Battles look the same as Swish. It looks more like a combination between Let's Go and Swish. It seems very sterile, but again, the gameplay is not final. They're still working on the game, it sounds like. Um, so yeah, alright, so let's go ahead and re-watch the Next, a Shining I'm Diamond the trailer. News about the Pokemon video game series. Have a look at this video. Have a look at this video. Okay, who the f okay? First of all, who the fuck is this guy? I'm gonna try my best to do it as high quality as possible, so we can actually look at the details. Cause we're not watching it. We're just like this. This this is really cool. I wonder. Okay, ooh, what if this is the distortion world that we're looking at here? Cause like, what is this like crazy? Also, by the way, I love how they reference Sword and Shield. They literally reference all the mo modern Pokemon games and then... Oh, wait. Never mind. Never mind. Ignore what I just was about to say. Ignore that. Wait, did they even mention Sun and Moon? I'm not really sure. Okay, so this is just literally footage of the DS. Don't really care. But... Luckily, it's really easy to digest because of the locked camera. Experience the brilliance once more. This. Oh, stop. This this is intriguing. Because obviously, like, this is the namesake. But why are they calling it that? Do they really like Diamond and Pearl as much as we do? Or are they saying that to really get us hyped up? Because also, why focus on the brilliant diamond part and not the, the pearl part? Or maybe the next trailer would be like, look at this shiningly beautiful game. Okay, wow. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so look at... Look at Dawn here. Look at look at this. Look at this bitch. Look at this. Yo, look at this. Okay, this, this triggers me a little bit. Uh, <laughs> that TV. Why? Oh, that is the TV from the games, though. So they did update this, but everything else is just like the same. Oh, uh, you can't access the computer anymore, though. Wait. Yo, hold up. That's legends. Look at like the trees and stuff. We'll, we'll look at look. We'll look back at it later. But like, that's literally legends right there. Okay, so looking at Dawn again, she looks so <laughs> weird. Because, like, even in the original games, it's sort of implied she looks like the art from the game, but they didn't even change her either, because in Auras, they changed them at the very least. Yo, but it...